This is my energy monitoring device which I built to measure and record the total energy used and also with a push of a button, the system provides me the accurate billing for the energy that I have used over time. The project is built into two different models. The first one displays the voltage, current, power and energy used. These data are read from the computer using the Arduino serial monitor. While the second one, which I built for use, records the data at any given interval and provides the calculated values of energy and price whenever a button is pushed. The project is built upon the Common Atmega328 microcontroller, which is a compatible chip in the Arduino Uno board. And in this video, I will present to you how I assemble this project and discuss on the lines of code which I program to carry out the special tax of monitoring my electrical energy and providing a corresponding billing for the resultant energy that I have used. <music> If you are one of my subscribers, you will remember this particular project which is a three-phase automatic changeover system. I discussed how I read my input AC voltage using a voltage divider network and in this project I won't be repeating the concept once again as I will focus on the current sensor and other circuitry made in the project. And if you are new to this channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification once I make upload on a new project just like this. I started off the design by assembling the basic parts on a breadboard. I initially used a 16x2 LCD display at this stage of the project since I wish to read only the voltage, current, power and the total energy used. I used the two potentiometer to simulate my current and voltage values. Clicking the button, the device generated the power value and also the corresponding energy in watt hour. Clicking the second button, the memory is cleared and new data of power and energy starts recording. I used the transformer as my voltage sensor and I used ZMCT103 current transformer as my current sensor. Now, this is how I got my current readings using a current transformer. As we already know, current transformer generates an AC voltage at its output relative to the flow of current on the primary term. The primary turn in this case is the wire that provides electricity to the load. I cut one part of the wire and connect it through the sensor just like this. I assemble two multimeter, one said to read the output AC voltage and the second one to read the corresponding DC voltage. The DC voltage is gotten using a half wave rectification circuit. Connecting the first bulb which is rated 20 watt. I got 0.2 volts at the AC meter and 0.09 volt on the DC meter. Connecting the 40 watt bulb, I got 1.3 volts at the AC meter and 0.93 volts at the DC meter. Now, powering a 100 watt bulb, I got 1.6 volts at the AC meter and 1.08 volts at DC meter. I now connect the Arduino board to read the current values and I'm using the DC meter value to represent the AC values. Connecting the 20 watt bulb, I got 0.1 amp which when calculated gives 0.09 amp and still approximated to 0.1 amp. This is quite an accurate value which I need and as such I have to test the next bulb. I now connected the 100 watt bulb which resulted to 1.2 amps of current. This is quite an incorrect value if you calculate it. The expected result should be half the value. This particular result indicates that the method that I'm currently using isn't an ideal method of calculating AC current. I got an article that explains it better about how to use the sensor when I further studied on solving my problem. So feel free to check the video description as I'll drop the link for you to study about the sensor if you wish to build upon it. Back to my project. Prior to my study on the article, I went ahead to complete the project using my own crude method. Going over to the next stage of the project, I assembled all the required components for soldering. I started off on the female pot as I have it soldered in place. Next, I soldered all the discrete components as I now have the board looking just like this. Completing other wiring, I tested assembly once again and the measured value corresponds to my supply value with just plus 3 volt difference on the voltage value. 
I powered the bulbs and got these current readings which would have been correct if I divided the output by 2 on the code. After confirming the design working, I now replaced the 16x2 LCD with a 20x4 LCD and I ultimately readjusted the code to suit the new display. I added another current sensor in order to measure two different unit source. Testing the new assembly, the result was amazing as I can see at once both the power and the energy of each unit. For demonstration, I set the chart to 100 Naira for every watt hour of energy used. The price can vary from different grid lines, so check that of your country and re-edit it on the code. I started working on the casing and I'm using a 6x9 adaptable boss. Like always, I measured all the dimensions of all the external parts as I drew it through. Completing the casing, I now have the device look just like this. I set the output separately from the input and with a different wattage of bulbs, I'm now ready to test the project. You can see how the energy of each unit are adding up with time and when I fetch the billing for the total energy used, the results shown present a different price for each user. This is the primary objectives of this project and I'm glad I've been able to achieve it. Fetching the next billing for the energy used, you can see that the price keeps on adding with the same rate and this is amazing. The project is completed and I'm excited with the result, even though I have more works to build upon the results I got and I will be glad to share them with you when I make my next upload. So remember to click the subscribe button if you have not done so. Feel free to drop your comments on how I can improve the design and talking about the design, I've presented all the design details in a PDF format which you can access via the video description below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next project, do have a blissful day.